Nia. How do you do? Oh my god, that's got to be pretty shocking for you, my friend. Uh, let's get you up on the hook. Hello everyone, my name is Hyper Panda, and I'm a Fog Whisperer for Dead by Daylight and today we're coming back with more famous builds. These are builds based around a certain killer with certain add-ons and certain perks that make it into a meme build that has a name that people around the community actually know it as. Today we're going to be playing the Splinter Cell Wraith, the Spooky Wraith, the Silent Wraith, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be using the Cox Combed Clapper, which makes it so our bell makes no sound, and the Ghost Soot add-on that means after we come out of stealth we have no terror radius and no red stain that are projecting out the front of our face for 6 seconds. This enables you to get some really sneaky plays on survivors and also they don't know that you're coming up behind them and you can get them grabbed off the generator and it's all in all just quite a spooky build to play against. To combo with this we're going to attempt to go to the jigsaw map and see how we can do there. We're going to use enduring and spirit fury, surveillance and discordance because we really need to know where survivors are at all times and hopefully the game map is going to mean that they won't know that I'm sneaking up on them and then we're going to pop out and smack them in the head and they're going to be surprised. Nice and we are on the game. Alright so my job here is going to be going around jumping out from behind corners, grabbing people off generators, hopefully not losing the game insanely. Uh, that would be nice. Nice. Hello, Nia. How do you do? Oh my god, that's got to be pretty shocking for you, my friend. Uh, let's get you up on the hook. Now, we do not have barbecue and chili this time, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. Uh, to actually find the next victims, but hopefully, because this is such a stacked up map, if we kick gens and walk around and use surveillance and actually pay attention to it, we should be okay. Where are they? Oh, here we go. Oh, they went down here? Alright, you've been saved. Hey. Hello, Nia. Hello there, I'm right behind you. Are you aware of this? Yeah, you are aware of this now. Fear puppets. Okay, let's go back invisible. I'm coming near. The Wraith is coming and he means business. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Nia. Come to me. No pallets, please. Shit, I had to go for it. I had to go for it. We've got Enduring Spirit Fury anyway, so it doesn't really matter at all. Let's go back into stealth. Oh, shit. We've got two people on this generator back here. Thank you very much, Discordance. I appreciate that very much. Hello, Meg. I saw you teabagging there. I saw you teabagging, you little shithead. And someone went this way as well. I'm up for it. I'm up for the chase. Shit. Shit, this generator up here is pretty much completely done. Hey, you. Get the fuck off it. God damn it, Claudette. God damn it. How many times have I got to tell you survivors to leave my goddamn antique generator collection alone? Wait, where are they? What the fuck? There you go. Hello, dear. Oh, no. Nia, no. You wouldn't dare loop a wraith, would you? You wouldn't download a car, would you, Nia? Have they done that generator? They are on that generator. Nice, that's fine. All right, we're going to have to go back for the gen, I guess. Which is a little bit shitty to have to break off the chase, but I need to stop them from doing the motherfucking generator. What the hell? That was clearly a grab. My hand went onto her shoulder. Claudette, I was giving you the grip of death. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, that was unfortunate. Alright, let's get you hooked up. Alright, we're doing it. We're sort of doing it slowly. They got one generator done. And they're fucking chunking that generator over there. Let's go see if we can stop them here. Okay, invisible. Break it. And they're all here. Yet again. Wow, they're really, really working as a team here. I don't like that at all. Survivors? Hello? Who's gone down here? Are you waiting at this pallet? I got no fear of the pallet, so I've got spirit fury and enduring, so I can just shrug the pallet off. Hello there. Shrug the pallet off and then follow up for a chain attack like this. Hello, Nia. It's time to get smashed. And she also has a key on her. Shit, I need to keep that in mind. That's not what I like to hear at all. Right? Oh, and they're back on the fucking generator. Dudes. They are persistent, right? Very persistent. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Oh, there's Meg. Hello, Meg. How's it going? Have you got pallets? You do not have pallets. You do not. Senpai, come here. Let me feast on you. Let me feast on you, Meg. 
Let's try and go a different way. Okay, they saved. Meg, what are we gonna do with you, Meg? Thank you, Meg. Oh, that's so kind of you. Breaks me out of stealth and let me get the generator uh, pallet kick as well for my spirit fury. <gasps> oh, I should really be playing more with the invisibility abilities because that's what this meme build is all about. Oh, look, another pallet. Delicious. That's gonna enable me to smash you to death on the next one. Okay. What's the plan here, Meg? You better have something super sweet up your sleeve. Okay, that was not super sweet. But it worked. I gotta give you five points for that, I guess. And they're all on that gen over there. Holy crap, this is so tough. Like, you get one survivor knocked down, and then suddenly, the rest of them are all on a generator. How can you win? How can you win? How can you win, survivors? How can you win? Oh, that was a good sprint burst. I like it. I like it. Nia? Nia? I've got bloodlust already, Nia. I do. Yes, I do. And I know that you're dead on the hook as well. A little bit tunnely if I go after you, but honestly, the opportunity was there. You were up in my face. Oh my god! I actually got the grab? <laughs> Alright, that feels pretty evil. But, you know what? We're playing killer. We're not playing fucking babysitter. We're not playing babysit the survivors. We're playing dead by daylight. We're playing kill the fucking survivors. Nice. Hello there. Hello there. And I've still got my spirit fury enduring prepped. So if she can find a... Oh, don't go in there, Nia. So if she can find a pallet, she's going to be pretty much destroyed. She didn't use the two pallets there, though. Really interesting decision. Okay, really interesting dead hard. Do it. Do it, Nia. Do it. And smash. Okay, fear puppet. Oh, shit. Down to the last generator? God, this team is definitely very dedicated to cracking out generators. They're probably going to complain that I've... Uh, tunneled down that near at the end but honestly they've tunneled the shit out of the generator so far making it very tricky so let's see what have we got we've got one gen two gen three gen they're already here okay oh dear i smashed you in the face did i well you shouldn't have ran straight into the wraith call me a meggy call me a megs yes 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 feed me meg feed me Feed me pallets, that would be nice. Oh, and the other one's here? Hello, Claudettes. What a nice treat. How nice to see you. Go on, go in the locker. Go in the locker, that would be awesome. Okay, I guess we can hang this one up again. Is she dead on the hook? No, she's not. She's still got one hook left in her. Let's get you hooked up and try and find these other two. It really is going to be a photo finish here, though. I'm a bit concerned about the last generator getting done. Okay, let's kick this. Go this way. I suppose all my gens are pretty close to each other, so they're going to be hard-pressed to pull that shit off. Hello? Hello? No one in here? Okay. They're healing up. I should have used Nurse's Calling. Oh, scratches. Yes. Hello, Meg. You have seen me, and I've seen you. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, we're going to have to go for the Tordet, right? What other choice do we have? Is Meg gonna go for the save? I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. You know, we don't have any Blood Warden, we don't have any No One Escapes Death, we don't have any end game potential here. So, we gotta just take it where we can get it. And you know where we're getting it? We're getting it right here. Here you go, dude. Second hook for you. Go back into super invisible stealth mode. And they're over here. Yes. Yes, Nia? Hello? And you know what, actually? I'm a little bit upset here because... D-Strike? No D-Strike. Uh, because one of them's got a key, as far as I remember. I think one of them's running around with a key, so if they can find that hatch, I'm fucked. I'm in a whole bunch of trouble. So we're gonna have to... pull some shit out of the bag here. Okay, one of them's still injured. Hopefully they don't know where the hatch is. Hello? Okay, no. No, I'm a little bit concerned. Survivors? Where are you? Don't hide from the Wraith. The Wraith doesn't like that. I feel like they're sticking together. Like, they're definitely a Survivor Friends team. Because they've got the coordination of a bunch of demons. 
Here we are. Here we are. Oh, look, it's Tourette's. Hello, friend. I found you. I found you. Well, at least if we can get three, I'm going to be happy. She's got a map on her, so she's not the one that's going to be doing it. Shit. Had to swing for it. I had to swing for it. Can I get into the chase, please? What? Yo, that was an actually genius move from Claudette. I'm actually proud of you, Claudette. That was real good. Let's see if we can find her on the other side, though. Oh, dear! <laughs> Snuck right up on her. She didn't hear it, and now you got donked. Uh, let's see. Am I going to be able to find the last person? I really don't think so. But I, actually, I do know where the hatch is. Maybe we could go in for a 25-minute hatch standoff. Or a 25-hour hatch standoff. That sounds so fun. Uh, where is the hatch? Not here? Not here? Crap. It was somewhere at the bottom of the stairs. Round here, perhaps? Oh! She's out. Alright, Senpai's out. Alright, GG to these people. Honestly, that build made me feel a little bit paranoid because I didn't have Blood Warden, but we still did good. Let's give him a GG and a smiley face. Didn't have any Blood Warden, didn't have any barbecue, weren't able to really see where everything was happening. And I didn't rank up. What the fuck? Really? Why? Why? What are the reasons? I didn't do enough hooks? I did shitloads of hooks. Alright, whatever. Right, Enduring Spirit Fury was fun. I want to go to the game map again. Let's try mixing it up a bit and using... Ooh, what to use. Alright, let's go for the end game combo. Let's do Remember Me and Blood Warden. Because then it takes them ages to open the gate, and then when they do open the gate, then suddenly Blood Warden is up and they're dead. Nice. I'm enjoying this on the game, honestly. This is kind of fun. Uh, but now with these extra in extra perks that I brought this time, this should be a little bit harder at the start, but... What the fuck? Okay, should be a little bit harder at the start, but... Should be... Oh god, we're gonna get a grab here. Hello, Jake! I like it how you instantly vaulted straight down into the hole here, made a whole bunch of noise, and got instantly grabbed. How does that feel? How does that feel? Does that feel like you're a sausage? It should do. It definitely should. Okay, we've got an object for obsession as well. Hello, ladies! How do you do? Okay, yeah, clicky clicky. Clicky clicky. Murdery murdery. Let's kill some survivors. Hey, Denson! Oh my god, how does she know that that's not gonna hit her? Honestly, when I play Survivor, I rarely know if stuff's gonna hit or not. Alright, she dropped down. That's fine. Let's go back into stealth mode. Let's go kick this gen over here. Okay, it wasn't this gen. Oh. Hello down there. Shit. It's actually really poor because they can see my aura through walls with, even when I'm invisible, with uh, that fucking god awful perk. That is awful. That is awful. Meg, you've got to die. You've got a flashlight and object for obsession. Could you be any much more of an asshole? Could you? Drop it. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to come and finger you in just a second. Because you're giving me stacks of remember me. I'm going to have to concede that gen upstairs, I guess. Yep, concede that gen. How can she see me so close? I thought object recession was a 16 meter range. Okay, this is annoying. Meg, you're a fucking demon. Who uses object, really? Who really does this? I don't know. Nice. Thanks for the blind, Meg. Appreciate ya. Have to assume that we're doing the same loop here. I'm gonna catch you eventually. Nice. You wanna flash me again? Sweet. I hope you're enjoying those 250 flashlight points that you're getting. Because I'm coming to fuck your skull. Oh, Meg. Okay, interesting. Actually doing a good job, Meg. Actually doing a good job. You're actually getting the flashlights off. Okay, your flashlight's probably going to run out pretty fucking soon, though. Where'd she go? She went this way? Alright, I do want to kill this Meg. You've annoyed me, Meg. You've annoyed me, Meg! Yes, you have. And now it's time to fucking die. Alright, two hits on her. Two stacks to remember me. I've not even hooked anyone yet. This is actually going fucking terribly. Uh, we need to really redeem ourselves here somehow. 
and pull it back from the brink of death. Honestly, though, that Meg's gotta go. That Meg's gotta die. Honestly, if you use Object Obsession against me, I'm gonna hate you. I'm gonna hate you so fucking hard. Hello! Survivors! Right, they're healing each other up. Let's go patrol some gens. We do have surveillance, so kicking gens is a real benefit. Because we get to know if they go back to them or not. Okay, no one here. Meg's been saved. Oh dear. Oh dear, Jake. Oh dear, and you definitely ran into a wall there as well. Really nice. Let's get another hook on Jakey here. Jakey turns. No dead hard for Jake. All right. This is going to be a really stressful game that I can just tell straight right now from the very start that this is going to be a one of those serious ball eight games uh, where I get really, really, really frustrated with the damn survivors. Wait, what the fuck was that? Hello? Okay, we gotta go for this. We gotta go for this. Uh, we go back invisible. Where's Meg? Meg's always looking at me. Hello! God damn it. I nearly had the grab on her as well. Alright, kick this. There were two people here as well. We're gonna go back invisible. We're gonna see if that changes to yellow straight away to know that there's someone back on it. Hi, Jake. How's it going? Is it going good? Alright, kick this as well. Alright, this is going okay. Alright, they're back on that generator back there. Let's cruise over this way and try and kill whoever it is on there. And unstealth. And launch! Beautiful. Beautiful. And I think that that one could actually be dying on the hook over there. Nope, they saved. God fucking damn it. That's annoying. Meg! Meg! I'm chasing you here, Meg! Okay, that's fine, I guess. Uh, let's go get whoever the hell that person was downstairs hooked up. Oh! Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, they actually... They actually got her up? Hey, Meg! Okay. Very interesting. Oh shit, I nearly had her there. I was trying to fake the pickup so that she'd come and try and flashlight me. Yeah, guess what, Meg? Floor! Get on the fucking floor! Alright, let's hook Meg up, because honestly I want her to die first. I care about her dying more than I care about Jake dying, because she's got the flashlight, she's got the object obsession, and because I'm getting stacks of Remember Me as we go. Up you go. And Jake, you are also going to meet the same fate as your little friend there. Okay. That wasn't a minute. Holy shit. That's a surprise. That's a shock to me. Okay, let's get the generator a kick. Go back invisible and go and hunt down Jake. You got one free save, Jake. You got one free save. Where are you? Where are you? Where is he? They saved? Okay, all right, there's Meg over there. I think we just go for the Meg. I think we just go and bash Meg's face in. Hey, Meg, how's it going? Cool flashlight, bro. And stun. Nice, very nice, I like that. Get on the fucking floor. <laughs> all right, we gotta kill this Meg. She's a thorn in my side. She's a pain in my butthole. And she's got D-Strike too. How is that a minute? Seriously, I went around the whole fucking map. Absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. Hi, Meg. Hi, Meg. Yeah, I, you know that when you can see me, Meg, I can also see you, right? Okay, that one wants to take a hit. Uh, fuck it. We're gonna go for this, Meg. We're gonna go for this one. We gotta get her killed. You know, and every single hit on her that we get, we get an extra stack of Remember Me. So, that's the, that's the plus side here. Hello there, Meg. Dead hard. And now be dead, dead. Dead, 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 dead. All right, the good thing is, though, we got five stacks to remember me now, and we also get Blood Warden at the end of the game. So even if they do the last generators, which I'm not particularly scared of them doing, uh, well, I'm not saying that they're not going to do them, of course, but uh, I'm not scared of it. We are going to have Blood Warden, and we could potentially get a whole shitload of kills at the end here. Fuck, but they're working a generator together? No. 
Stop. Stop it. Demon survivors. Shit. Shit. Okay, here we go. Jake, I'm afraid that you are dead. Jake, you're dead on the hook. All right, let's be doing a bit of that. Actually, wait, let's go around here. I was wondering if... He's going to try and give me the big licks, just kind of trying to come around. Slaughter me. Maybe, maybe not. Hello, Jake. All right, we're going to kill Jake. We're going to kill this poor little sausage here. That is so completed, though, that generator there. I mean, I could really go for a nice Blood Warden play. I've played a bunch of games so far, and I've not had any Blood Warden just orgasmic fun today. So I deserve it, you know? I deserve a little bit of fun. Okay, so we are... Oh, we're going upstairs. Shit. On the other side of the fucking wall. Hi, Kate. How do you do? How do you do? I found you. And I'm going to put you on a hook. Right, so, I mean, what? how how can we be doing much better here? I don't really know. I think my chances of finding the last survivor are very slim, but we're not going to camp her. We're going to go straight away. It's on her first hook as well. Sweet. Well, we've got the power hit. Oh, dear, Meg. Oh, dear, Meg Thomas. Nice. Shit, she can actually find the hatch down there. Okay, fair enough. Meg. Stop running, Meg. I'm hoping that I can just corner her here. Yes. Yes. No pallets. Yes. Go upstairs, Meg. Go upstairs where there is no chance of you escaping. Good idea. Let's see how this is going to work out for you, buddy. Yes. All right. We're doing it, everyone. We're doing it. We're winning the game. We're playing Dead by Daylight. Okay. You drop the pallet. Do you want to loop? I can loot, Meg. I can loot. Oh shit, there's still a pallet here. I forgot. I forgot. I thought we had destroyed this last time. That was last game. Meg, you're getting me all confused here. You're getting me all hot and bothered. I'm gonna have to kick this pallet. I'm gonna have to come and kick you in the goddamn teeth. Can we get some bloodlust here, game? You know what? I've been doing a nice little bit of chasing. No! Oh shit. I did not mean to click. I did not mean to click, Meg! Shit! Shit! She's got to find it soon, right? She's been looking for a goddamn hour. All right, we got her. Oh, she's got boil over as well. What a cool survivor. Oh, shit. What a cool survivor. You know what, Meg? I'm going to hook you up. I was going to give her the hatch. Fuck it. We're having a No Mercy series here. No Mercy. All right, so we didn't even get to use Remember Me or Blood Warden, but you know what? The safety that they provide me and, like, the mental... The mental sense of security that they give me, I just, I love them. I love them so much. Endgame perks are where it's at. And with the endgame collapse coming up, holy shit balls, It's going to be good. Okay, as always though, we give them a GG. Even if we lose, you give them a GG. Because it's a GG for someone. And we ranked up. Yay! Thank you so much for watching everyone, if you've enjoyed leave a like and subscribe to the channel I'd appreciate it massively and also if you really want to check out some DVD live come follow me over on Twitch. Let me know in the comment section which build you'd like me to play next, make sure you do leave the killer and any perks and any add-ons that should be used and also of course the name of the build. Check the Dead by Daylight playlist in the description and in the outro if you want to see more content from me. Have a fantastic day, good luck and have fun out there, panda out.